Hello, this is the 38th episode of the Execu Effective Executive Podcast. I'm a little out of breath. Uh, I decided I would do this episode on fitness. Hang on, I got to get a drink of water. By the way, if you ever go to uh, Indianapolis uh, in Westfield, which is north of Indianapolis, a place called Big Hoffa's, <laughs> awesome barbecue. Anyway, uh, fitness. Um, so I, I work out six or seven days a week, depending on whether I, I need that day of rest or not. I lift uh, three or four days. Uh, and I run on my uh, off days. They're three days a week. And typical run anywhere from uh, around a 5K up to four miles. Um, funny thing, it was when I first started as an executive, uh, <laughs> was riding a bike um, because I thought that would be a good way to do fitness. And not till I started running did I realize what fitness really was. And uh, then I started lifting uh, a little bit later. But uh, uh, fitness is, is really important from an executive standpoint. Um, it doesn't necessarily make you an effective executive. It will make you more efficient executive from a standpoint of uh, getting some of the cortisol out of your body, um, get dopamine running through. Uh, there's a lot of stress associated, obviously, with being an executive. Um, some more than others, different people react differently. Uh, but fit fitness is um, one of those things that uh, can clear your mind, uh, just like taking a vacation. People, I mean, I've met executives, oh, I haven't taken a vacation in five years. I think they're insane. Uh, I at least once a year, I'll go to Disney World for the Food and Wine Festival. I've been doing that for like, I don't know, 14 years or, or something like that. So uh, it's, it's a respite. It's get your mind away from it. And uh, you don't completely, I know you're going to take a phone call while you're at the Food and Wine Festival. I did <laughs> because as an executive, you, you're kind of on call all the time. But your mind need, needs uh, a break, just like when you sleep at night or maybe some of you don't sleep very well at night but getting that break um, allows your brain to reset and look at uh, problems in, in a new light I think it's a very important part of uh, being being an executive working out anywhere from you know 30 minutes to an hour and a half you know on a daily basis is fitting it into your schedule it becomes routine matter of fact I can't even go really two days uh, without working out in some fashion. Um, even as I've gotten older, it's just, it's in me, it's my schedule. Uh, I try to get up uh, early in the morning and uh, do some exercises, uh, lifting, uh, potentially running, uh, depending on the weather. I do have a treadmill in the house. Actually, it's like six feet that way. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think it's, it's one of those things that you need to fit into your schedule. If, you, if you're starting from zero, and I've seen many, many overweight executives, um, you know, one of the things to do is uh, start out uh, just walking. Uh, commit yourself to maybe a 5K now that those things are back since the pandemic's starting to subside. Um, people are having 5Ks again outside, sign up for one, even if you have to walk all of it. <laughs> you know, that's a good way to kind of get your um, uh, my mind into the game, so to speak. So, you know, if you know you're going to have to walk 3.1 miles, a 5K, then starting to build that up. And, I, you know, I good friend of mine, I'll, I'll never forget this story. Um, he was really overweight. He wound up getting uh, uh, surgery to slow down his intake, but uh, I, you know, I hired him uh, as an executive, um, and uh, he couldn't go from the park from the garage parking lot to the building. It was like, you know, maybe two hundred yards. He called me on the phone. He goes, "I don't know if I can do this." 
And I thought he was talking about the job, but he was talking about just making it from the garage to the, uh, to the building. Um, and, you know, I supported him and, you know, gave him some things to, you know, just, I said, you know, just take it a, you gotta take it a step at a time. But man, if you're, if you're that out of shape, you really need to, to, to do something. So, yeah, um, I always encourage the, uh, executives that I work with, uh, to, to commit to some type of uh, fitness, uh, for themselves and um, you know, it clear it does clear your mind. There is a whole neuroscience thing associated with it, as far as your how your thoughts work, how sharp you are, uh, all of those types of things, and start somewhere uh, and and build even if it's just walking uh, on a daily basis. I try to commit to at least two miles every day uh, and walking. If even when I'm not running or I'm lifting or something, I, I want to do at least two miles. Uh, especially working, you know, <laughs> from basically a studio all the time. Um, you don't get up as often and, except maybe to go upstairs and get lunch. So uh, committing to doing those types of things I think will really help you uh, as an executive. So I encourage you to do so. Uh, as I've gotten older, I've noticed it's gotten a little bit more difficult. So if you're a young executive, start now. If you're an older executive, it's never too late to start. So uh, there's all types of things out there um, that, that you could enjoy, whether it's biking or uh, whatever it is, start something and uh, uh, you, you will thank me for it later, even though if it's hard now. So that's what I want to do this episode on. Have a, have a great Memorial Day. <laughs>